Hello guys, uh, welcome back to MedZone African Motives, uh, still on our engineering science and two, uh, working on uh, statics. So this is uh, statics from the question paper of November 2023. So we are going to answer this first part of our question and so on. Uh, given 2.1, where we are given to name two conditions to ensure that uh, to ensure a beam is in equilibrium. What are the conditions that we need for a beam to be in equilibrium? Uh, so remember there, we have got uh, the conditions of uh, the moments and also the condition of the what? The forces for a beam to be in equilibrium. One, the sum of uh, the clockwise moments should be equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. I'm just going to write in short. Uh, we're going to write this in full as we're going to answer the full question paper together. All right, then also the sum of the upward forces should be equal to the sum of the downward forces. All right, so we shall have, must have this in, in words. All right, uh, question two, point two, we are now given to complete the following sentences by filling by filling in the missing word or words. So it can be a word or they can be words there. Write only the word or words next to the question number 2.221 up to 2.23 in the answer book. All right. So there we are given, uh, okay. If two forces acting on a point, okay, are represented in magnitude and direction by the two okay, of a parallelogram. So this is the statement of uh, parallelogram of forces. Remember, on parallelogram of forces. All right, so this is it. So you know that if two forces acting on a point are represented in magnitude and direction by the two, so these are supposed to be adjacent sides, all right, of a parallelogram, this one. So 2.21 is supposed to be what? The adjacent, adjacent sides of a parallelogram, the, of the two forces is represented. What is it that is represented? This is the resultant, isn't it? That's the resultant. So the resultant uh, is represented in magnitude, right? Uh, which is supposed to be, uh, if it is a velocity, resultant velocity, all right? And the direction by, so it is represented by what? by the diagonal of the completed diagonal. So this is supposed to be the diagonal in this case, this one. All right, so we are taking from the parallelogram of forces, remember our definition, all right? Drawn from the point of what? Of application, okay? That is it, three marks for that, okay? Let's check the other part of our question, which is uh, we're given 2.3. Consider fig one and answer the questions that follow. So from this fig that we have, we are supposed to answer the following questions, right? So that is our diagram there. So as you are studying this diagram, you will see that there is something here that is abnormal that we are not used to. Okay, what is it that we have? There's an angle there we are giving, guys. This is a vertical, uh, this is just vertical, but this one is taken at a certain angle. All right, if we take this, it's taken at a certain angle of 45 degrees. Okay, so the question there was to calculate the following, the vertical component of 90 Newton force. The vertical component, this force is supposed to be given as a vertical component, all right? It's supposed to be given as a vertical component like this. But how do we take it to be a vertical component? We just need what is equivalent. If we take it down like this, what is the equivalent from our vertical line? Remember, this is the vertical line that we see here, right? This is the vertical line that we are seeing here. According to the force of 90 Newton, which is this one that we have here, the 90 is this one. So we're gonna take back to our horizontal, I mean, to those horizontal and vertical components where the vertical components are represented by the force, the sine of theta, while is the horizontal component carries the cosine of what? The cosine of theta, remember that from your forces, all right, if you're dealing with the uh, components. So meaning to say this here is going to be a vertical of 90 sine of what? Theta, while is this side, if we were to take it, but as we are focusing with what? With the vertical, like this vertically, 
presented. So that's 90 sine of theta, where our theta is what? It's 45 degrees. So that is how you're supposed to have this vertical component. So our vertical component was going to be 90 uh, sine of 45 degrees, all right? So 90 sine 45 uh, is going to give us what? If we simplify this properly from our calculator, that's uh, 63, 63961. So it's gonna be 640, which is just gonna be 64 like this. All right, in what? In Newton. So that's what you're going to have as the vertical component representing this force that we are given. So this force is going to be represented as 63,64 Newton. So it's going to be 63,64 Newton like this. All right, so that is what you're going to have uh, at the end. You're going to have something of this nature there. Then we are given uh, in this case, 2.32, the distance x from the left end support and 100 Newton force. All right, so this one, I think they just made a, a mistake here because the 100 force, is, the 100 Newton force is not even part of the diagram. We do not have something like that, but we need this distance x, all right? Uh, unless they wanted us to calculate it some way, but it's not there. There's nothing like that, all right? So the distance x is the one that we have, and we are supposed to take moments about the support R. So if we take moments about this support R, this is where we have our support R here. Remember uh, the condition of our moments is that uh, 2.32, uh, the sum of, uh, depending with what you have, the sum of the clockwise moment should be equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. Remember that's what we talked about before. Uh, so meaning to say we need those uh, moments that, that are going to be taken in the clockwise first, going to, to R. So this is our R here. So if we check clockwise, remember this is how the clock moves. That is the clockwise direction, right? So meaning to say L as it goes to R is going to be clockwise. So this one is in the clockwise. But if we check the 63,64 Newton, this one that is uh, two meters from this R is going in the anti-clockwise this way. It's anti-clockwise as it goes back to, to R. So this is anti-clockwise. Also, this is in the anti-clockwise. Also, this is going in the anti-clockwise. So these are anti-clockwise. So this is the only clockwise that we have. So the only clockwise that we have is the L as it goes to R. So remember, it's force times distance. So the force is this 124.728. So we have got um, 124. Uh, all right, so it's going to be 124.728, all right? Is this that so? 0.728, all right? Then we have to multiply by the distance, all right? The distance taken here to R. So the distance is going to be X plus 3 plus 2 plus 2. You're going to add that. So if we add 3 plus 2 plus 2, that's 3 plus 2, which is 5. 5 plus 2, which is 7. So it's going to be seven plus X or X plus seven. That is our total distance in terms of X. So it's going to be X plus seven. We add everything here. That is what you're given. This is three plus two, which is five, plus two, which is seven, plus this X. So it's going to be seven plus X or X plus seven, right? That is uh, what we have. And that is the only clockwise moment. The rest are anti-clockwise. The rest are anti-clockwise. So on the anti-clockwise, we're going to take the first one, 63.64 times the distance back to, uh, to R here, which is the distance is two meters. So we're gonna multiply by, by two, 63. So this will be 63.6, is that so? 63.64, uh, right, times the distance of two. All right, plus, we're gonna move on. Uh, the other one is 140 back to R here. The distance is gonna be two, uh, we've got uh, the distance of two and two there, all right? So two plus two, that is what? That is a four, all right? So you're gonna add two plus two, which is gonna give us a four, sorry for that. This two and this two, that will give us a four there, all right? So that is 140 times four. So it's gonna be 140 times four. Let us just save it here. Uh, 140 times a four like this. Another one is the last one. It's 80 back to R there. So the distance is going to be 3 plus 2, which is 5, plus 2, which is 7. 
So that's a distance of seven, 80 times seven. We're gonna multiply 80 times a seven. All right, so that's it. Um, gonna combine uh, this side, or what you can simply do, uh, just combine everything here. Uh, that is 124.728 into X plus seven is equal to combine everything this side you are going to obtain 1,247,28. This is what you're going to get this side. Then you divide, instead of multiplying by the bracket, you can just divide by this number outside of the bracket, 124.728. Divide also here, 124.728. So this will cancel. We remain with the one. So it's one times X, which is X plus one times seven, which is a seven. And this is equal to, we divide this side. And if we divide this side, we were going to obtain a 10. This was gonna give us a 10 and transpose seven to the other side. That is going to be a minus seven here. So it's 10 minus seven, which is what? Which is three. So X is equal to three meters. Remember X is the distance that we are given. So that is how we are supposed to attempt or answer this question. Uh, the 100 Newton force here is not there. This is uh, 124.27, which is from this point, all right? So that is uh, what we were supposed to have uh, in this case. So like I said, let us revise as much questions as possible. Prepare yourselves uh, in time. You still have time to master exactly what you need to know uh, in engineering science. And two, if you're someone who is starting it for the first time, if you wrote it last time, uh, then you are preparing for N3, uh, checking if you what you did is correct, right? You can see how you achieved and start preparing for N3. That's it. Uh, you have got enough time, plenty of it to make sure that you are on the right path as uh, as it comes to the issue of, of, uh, of writing your exams. You know that you are on the right path. So just revise as much questions as you can. So that's it, guys, from Maison African Motives. Till we meet again.